Here's a guide to setting emotional boundaries. When you're stressed and overwhelmed, you usually realize that you're not really using your time and energy very well for yourself or anyone else. And it's easy to fall into giving too much of your time and energy to other people who often don't give you as much in return. This unequal energy exchange usually hurts you. You get sick. You get tired. You start dropping balls. Can even lead you to becoming unreliable. None of which supports you being your best self. And I know this because I've been there. One solution to this is to get better at setting priorities, to learn to say no to something so you can say yes to more important things. And this includes people sometimes. But it's not realistic that we can say no to everything. We have obligations. We've made commitments. So the real question becomes, in order to preserve your time and energy and protect yourself while also supporting others and the commitments you've made, the question is, how can you say yes in ways that limit your ability to give too much of yourself? How can you say yes in ways that draw boundaries and set priorities and allow you to get done what you have to get done and also preserve your energy? It starts with mindfulness. Learn when to stop and interrogate yourself. Figure out what's going on before you just give more energy as your default selection. And once you've stopped to reflect, use this simple decision tree to help you determine when to go ahead and give of yourself and when to draw a line and set a boundary. First, ask yourself, do I have the time and energy to do this thing as it was presented to me? And if the answer is yes, before you do it, ask yourself if you want to do it as presented to you. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. But if the answer to both those questions is yes, then go ahead and do it. But if the answer is no to either one of those questions, before you say yes or no, ask yourself, well, what do I have the time and energy to do that actually needs doing? And the answer may not be the request that was made of you. And then reframe a question back to the other person. What choices can I give the other person that allow me to contribute what I can contribute and what I want to contribute? And finally, own the choices you make for yourself in how you spend your time and your energy and empower other people to make choices for themselves that helps them achieve what they want to achieve. This might be as simple as someone coming to you and asking you to run an errand after work, and instead of saying yes or no, you offer to run the errand over the weekend when you have time. This gives them the choice to do it themselves if they really want it sooner or to wait until it's convenient for you. It can also look like offering to do some but not all of a task. It can look like a lot of things. The point is that you're being precise in what you are and are not willing to contribute. And you're offering other people the opportunity to contribute as well. No excuses. Just follow through with the commitments you do make with integrity. People appreciate those who do not deplete themselves. Because when you have time and energy, you're reliable. You're dependable. When you make a commitment, you follow through. And over time, that has great value and brings great trust. So learn how to set boundaries that preserve your time and energy, protect you, make it possible for you to contribute what you can and be your best self, and empower others to contribute what they can and be their best self. This is the win-win. What's your experience with drawing emotional boundaries? Mm -hmm.